All right, guys, episode number 273, 273 videos. In this one, I'm going to open up my fifth box from the 45,000 card collection that I purchased on Facebook Marketplace. I haven't looked at these yet. I thought you'd enjoy looking at them with me. I've got some Prism rookies. Desmond Bain, that's a good start. A little off-center. Jonathan Kaminga. Cam Thomas. Got a variations. Maybe that's a gold. These Chronicles are not numbered often. LeBron James. John Morant. Luca. Just posted a Luca lot this morning, actually. Anytime I get about 30 of them, of the big names, I list those. I was looking for a Matthew Hurt for this set, Chronicles Draft. It's not worth much, but he went to the same high school as I did. Cam Thomas, Matthew Hurt, there you go. Former John Marshall graduate. Put that down since that's kind of cool. I just had a local collector pick up about 20 of his cards that he was going to meet him that day and get them signed. All right. Looks like I've got some old 80s football in here. I see a Steve Young from 87. This looks like the Chronicles NBA set. Giannis's brother. Bruce Brown. Anthony Simons. One thing I've thought about is Doing about a hundred different basketball rookies, maybe a set price of thirty free shipping. Curious if that would sell. Cool Peyton Manning from '99, maybe. Two thousand one, way off. Randy Moss, Puckett. I think I got twenty-five of this card listed on eBay. When you buy a lot of junk wax collections, you get a bunch of, you get quantity of those Hall of Fame rookies. Number to 99, what year is this? 2001. Wayne Gretzky, don't know much about hockey, but I know he's good, and that's not a real autograph. Here's what I think of fake autographs. There you go, Let's throw it on the floor. You got Jim Kelly. Dan Marino, Steve Young, 87, Okafer, famous with all the ads, State Farm ads, I bet his cards sell just because he's on TV, doesn't take much to build a fan base. All you need is one fan to make a sale. Ozzy Elbies, Freddie Freeman. Yeah, I, don't see, I haven't seen that card before. Let's see. 90. Let's see if it's a short print. No, nope, this card I haven't seen. Sometimes the update cards I don't see as much. I always see a bunch of Series 1 cards for all years in collections. Hey, Fractor, Patrick Ewing. Probably a three, four dollar card. Not worth listing individually, but eventually when I get my Patrick Ewing lots made, that's down the road. It's not priority number one right now. That could be a nice card then I'll in the 30 card lot that gets a buyer's interest. Saw an auction. Sometimes it's fun just to do some research and figure out what sells. I saw 72 Walker Bueller rookies for 39 bucks. Nothing big, just a lot of cheap ones. I could do that a lot three times. Manny Machado, 
just a lot of work digging through all those boxes. I think one of the things I got to do next is Miguel Cabrera. I got to go through my cards of him, enlist those since this is last season, because I could put together 10 lots of 30 different, probably 10 for the Tigers and 10 for the Marlins. No problem. I think as a buyer, if you had 10 options to look through the pictures and find the lot that you want, I think that's appealing. So for like Peyton Manning, I just had one on there, one for the Colts, one for the Broncos. And then I'll just make a new one once it's sold. But I decided that why not give the, the buyer some options? And that seems to work. And I can build up my eBay store that way too. Also have a promotion going on through the end of March where it's buy two lots, get 10% off all of it. You buy three lots, you get 15% off. So I can only do a sale like that for 500 items in my store. So I just select, I type in the search bar lots and then I pick 500 lots. I think I had 520 lots in my store, so I couldn't do all of them. But I got to update that every couple days because I have lots that sell. So then I can add some to the sale. I don't know why there's a limit. Kyle Tucker, Topps Chrome, a couple bucks. I like this collection because you have multiple cards all the time. Taylor Ward, Jeff McNeil. Any Mike Trout's a good Mike Trout. Average sale, about $1 per card. Nico, I think, is going to have a breakout year. I have a Tatis a lot of all the gold cups. I think there's like 30 of them. Maybe for 39 I have it listed for. I got a chrome gold cup in the, one of the previous boxes. I can list that. Number to 149, Kirk Cousins. Harrison Smith, I think he'll be gone in a couple months. New team, hey, that's cool. Nelson Cruz. I got ooh, more of them. Sweet, Nelly Cruz. All right, I'm listing this one today. See, I would think this one could sell for thirty bucks, thirty-five bucks. As he finishes up career, finishes up his career. Let's see his stats. So war close to 40, 400 home runs. He's borderline Hall of Fame, but I think it'll be just short. Max Kepler. It's a cool card from 87 Tops World or 87 World Series. I was two, so I don't remember much from that. Another Chrome Gold Cup. Variety of sports in every box. I love that. Jalen Brunson, he plays for the Knicks now. Went from a role player to a starter. I like this. So March 26, 2020, that opening day did not happen. Same with the 2021 set, the opening day dates are wrong. So I find this set kind of interesting. Obviously an uncorrected error, obviously. I got a gold, number 2019, Nico, rookie insert. Halo Jimenez, gold cup. Aaron Judge, I haven't seen that card before. It's a neat one. I'll get that sleeved up. Hey, another one. So good you get it twice. Three, Ted Williams, Labor, Sandy Koufax, Tuve. Just didn't seem to fit, and he wasn't playing in the 2008 days. At least not in the major leagues, middle school, high school time. Another Aaron Judge I'll put aside. I sold a Zebra Select 
parallel numbered to 150 sold that for 15 free ship a couple days ago reese hoskins he's relevant with the world series recently i think he's injured right now let's see what this is some tops heritage who's the player oh who would have guessed reese hoskins And half. We got an auto. Wasn't expecting auto in here. So this is numbered rookie auto. It's worth listing today. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Some prospects. First Bowman's. 2018. Nico, number 250, it's got to be numbered 99, Vladdy, kind of a bounce back season, definitely a Toronto Blue Jays fan with, with Bo Bichette there, it's a rookie year, card of Vladdy, gold cup, Keston Hira, Still playing. Kind of a disappointment after his rookie year. That's a short print. Sometimes the unique photos you know are short prints. Robin Yant. I had a Robin Yant collector come over maybe four months ago. I told him, come back in the spring and I'll we can work out some deals. Hornsby, Vladdy Daddy, Gavin Lux and Dustin May, Kershaw, got a 65 design there, Alex Verdugo, pink, these are not numbered, but a parallel, mm, wasn't sure on that one, number 250, Joey Bart, Joey Bart, Joey Bart. I have another box of a lot of Joey Barts. Is that triple threads? Or tribute, one of those two. Kikuchi. I gotta get Ichiro lots on there too. Ichiro and Miguel Cabrera. And Albert Pujols and the Angels Unis. I should get those listed this weekend. Start the fun of those. Got another one of those little guys. Juan Soto. I hear he's good. Luciano. Again, I'm going to look these up. See if they're worth listing. Pete Alonzo rookies. Take those. It's a cool picture. It's got Soto in there. Max, Mad Max, Serger, another Soto, sweet, so his rookie's an 18, it's a lot of second year cards, but these boxes are full of goodies, maybe not the $20 cards are up, but that's I guess not who I, uh, what I look for in big collections. Number to 67. Ooh, original Wagner. Bill Mazurowski. Number to 25, 1 to 25. That's borderline worthy of the list. The low numbers, serial numbers 1 sometimes sell quicker than others. They shouldn't, but they do. Chavis, another jersey card. Must be out of Topps Holiday from 2018. Got Aloy. A couple Aloys. Matting me. Another Judge. Another Judge. 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 Sweet. So these must have been... A lot of these boxes haven't been touched for a year. 
So the Judge, Otani, some of those names that didn't pop until more last season. Obviously, Otani had back-to-back -back great seasons, but I sold a Danny, whatever his name is, I sold his auto for 15, the Penmanship Prism Auto, yesterday. I'm a little behind on my What Sold videos. I think I have 110 sales since my last What Sold video. I might have to do 40 in each video, but I kind of like the short videos that are five minutes. What do you guys think? Should I make What Sold 40 at a time, make them 10 minute video, or keep them five minutes? I do what sold videos. Hopefully it sparks some ideas on what you can list. That's kind of my number one goal. Is to show you what sells. And everything sells in auctions, but what's sold by it now. Speak a little bit more to the market. I think like the Jalen Suggs, if you had 30 of those, they might sell for 19 free shipping. Jalen Greens might be 60 to 70 cents. Scotty Barnes. He was rookie of the year, but he's. I haven't heard his name as much this year. What did he do? He's a voice actor. What did he do voice acting for? Luke Skywalker. I've heard of him. I like all the Allen and Ginther general manager and horse. What did this horse do? Nothing. Just an ordinary American paint horse. Kind of lame. Guess when I look at collections, baseball is always my number one favorite. Always has been, always will. I think I like to play basketball the best. I like to watch football the best. But I like to collect baseball cards the best. Kind of all over the map. So when someone says, what's your favorite? I'm like, well, it's not that easy. At least for me. I think there's one question when someone comes over and sees all my card, you can probably guess what the first question is always. What's your most valuable card? That is always the first answer for someone that's not in the hobby. Someone in the hobby might ask, who do you PC? That's kind of the language of card collectors. I guess that language I didn't really think about until I started watching more YouTube content three years ago. I was just watching Jab's family for a couple of years. Didn't know that more people had content. Little Aaron Judge, Topps Museum Collection. I always call it, I would just think personal collection, not PC. See, these are the type of cards that I won't sell on eBay. Even if they're, those three didn't pass the test. Now I'll look back at these. That one's too much to sell in my eyes. So if you're buying from me, know that I only sell cards that are in okay shape. I think about for modern cards, near mint. But you get the idea. So Pete Alonzo had a Subway series type of set maybe in 2019 or 20 so it's 85 design so it must be 2020 maybe there's a boba shed in there we'll find out later i'll find out later there might be some bowman first ones i miss Looking forward to looking up the 
Nelson Cruz rookie lot. I think that's something. I should look to see if I have any Zach Grinky rookies. I'm sure I do. But I have to do some digging. It's a cool picture. I love when the old timers have cards. I know they're not worth much in the hobby, but I like them. I think there's a, I was watching Sports or a Card Collector 2, and there's an all pro punter that only has a card in this set, and the base rookies sell for about 10 bucks. I know I have some. Four more stacks. There's my Prism football. More Phoenix. I do like these two cards for design. At the very end, there's some penny sleeves. I wonder if there's some better ones in there. Refractors, it's a cool Ichiro. Got a Redemption, obviously redeemed. Maybe I'll find that later. Patty Mahomes, just listed the Patrick Mahomes lot. And last stack, Aaron Rodgers. I think I just listed a college uni Aaron Rodgers lot last night. Maybe I'll add those, maybe not. Tom Brady's. Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. Juju, number to 30. I thought, ooh, it is jersey number. Look at that, 19 out of 30. I'll list that. I was about to say if it was jersey number, I'll list it, and it was. Dak Prescott, rookie, I believe, is he 18? Maybe. Elvin Kamara, rookie. That's neat. Groove parallel. That must be the groove as well. Groovy. Daniel Jones. Sold a bunch of Daniel Jones cards about a month ago. Sean Watson. I want to rip that card in half. And last one. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Always nice to get a bunch of judge cards. Even if they're Panini cards. That's not a judge, it's Soto. And then this is one that I'll look up right after. I think this would be definitely, definitely $25 sale, I think. Maybe more. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next box.